Getting a job as a programmer is tough. Sometimes you might not have enough experience for the job or the salary offer isn't what you expect. However, that doesn't mean we can't make money from coding. There are different options that can help you earn money while waiting for your dream job. And in this video, I'm going to show you 5 ways I've made money from coding. I've tried all these methods, so I also share the potential income based on my own experience. Number 1. Technical writing. Think of the last time you had a problem with your code or didn't know how to solve something. Where did you find a solution? Probably on Google. Nowadays developers search for solutions on the internet. This is why websites need to have content in the form of articles or guides that help them increase the number of visitors to their websites. You can use your technical knowledge to write an article and get paid for it. Websites usually pay a flat fee of $200 and $500 per piece. But if this amount of money seems little to you, you can try blogging. This is similar to writing for a company or website, but instead of getting a flat fee, you get paid based on the number of views or the time that people spend reading your articles. There are some blogging platforms like Medium that have this type of pay for performance model. In this model, the more people spend time reading your articles, the more money you make. And on Medium, you can write about anything from Python, SQL, JavaScript, and even Bitcoin. Medium is like the YouTube of writing. And if you like to make money writing on Medium, you can check that link in the description to read my complete guide. Number two, freelancing. Websites such as Fiverr and Upwork make the life of freelancers easier. We don't need to actively look for clients anymore, but they come to us on these platforms. Of course, both websites will take their cut for every service we deliver, but this is still worth it. I have some experience on Fiverr, and I think it's a good option if you already have some clients, so you don't start from scratch. On Fiverr, you only need to create an account to start offering a service, also known as gigs. You can create as many gigs as you want, but I recommend you to start in a small niche. For example, Fiverr has already many gigs in web development, so you might find it hard to get clients in that niche because there is too much competition. However, if you're in a small niche within web development, your chances to get a client will increase. Here the potential income depends on the price you set for the gigs. Some gigs start at $20 and others start at $100. Number 3. Making online courses. Selling online courses is very profitable. But there are so many online courses out there in Udemy, Coursera, and Udacity that only a few get a good piece of the pie. Here you need to find a niche where there is little competition. If there aren't many bestseller courses in a field, probably that field is worth it. Also, you need to check what are the strengths and weaknesses of the other online courses. And you do that by checking out the feedback section of the course. For example, on Udemy, there are many positive and negative comments on the student feedback section of any course. Try to read some of them and keep them in mind when building your own course. Here the potential income depends on the course. I started making more than $450 per month with my first course. Number 4. Tutoring. You can make money by teaching others what you know either in your city or online. There are many school and university students who need to learn how to code for an exam, project, or homework. Here's when you can use your skills to teach others. And the best part about this is that you learn twice by teaching. Here the potential income depends on your hourly wage, so this is up to you. Number 5. Making video tutorials. Everyone knows that people make money on YouTube, but only a few know that you don't need to have many subscribers to earn a decent amount of money. And you don't even need to show your face. Yes, YouTube videos make money through ads, but the thing is, this isn't the only way to make money on YouTube. You can also make money with affiliate links and sponsored content. If your channel has a small yet valuable niche like technology or artificial intelligence, companies could contact you to sponsor one of your videos or to make a dedicated video about their platform. The income you can get from YouTube through ads depends on the revenue per mile, which is a metric that represents how much money you earn per 1,000 video views. So this can be $3, $5 or more per 1,000 views. And if it's sponsored content, it depends on the client's budget and how you negotiate. That's it, if you'd like to learn how to make money writing articles on Medium, consider getting my course. And also don't forget to download my Python cheat sheet in the description of this video.